Hey guys, so I'm here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And today, I'm basically going to be teaching you how to build battle in Creative Destruction Mobile. So first, let's start off with something basic. So basically, this is like a little thing that happens usually when you're build battling, and I like to call it blocked off. So pretty much, I came up with little names for um, basically these things that keep happening to me when I build battle, and I basically just just randomly say them if I'm like talking to friends, like blocked off, and they kind of know what I mean like what kind of build battle I'm having um, to know if they should come in and help me or they should just continue with their fight stuff like that so I pretty much like to call this one block off so say you're building up like this alright so you're building up straight and then someone's building up on the same kind of line I guess as you and they build over you kind of like this so this is kind of like a very common thing in a build battle is somebody builds like this now usually what I'll do is I'm up if I'm up there I'll jump down here and I'll pump the person or I'll hit them with a stinger or something like that and usually they're dead and this is where people kind of get trapped I guess or blocked off <laughs> um, so pretty much easy way to counter this is you turn around you grab your walls from here and you place two because if you're to jump down over there and go to here there's gonna be walls in the way and pretty much what you're gonna do next you're gonna take one of these floor pieces and you're gonna place them like this and it's gonna launch you up and you're gonna place one two you're gonna turn around place walls up like this and they're gonna place a ramp like that and that is basically an easy way to get out of being blocked off and if the person still stays here and tries to destroy these mats usually you won't be build battling with level one you'll have level three or four because usually when you're versing in a build battle you know usually really good players and the players that survive to the end and usually all have like really good mats and stuff shooting mats in creative destruction takes a little while so by the time you pretty much built all of this, they'll destroy both of those mats, but you won't be there, you'll be up here. And they'll kind of be sitting there, you can easily, easily now shoot them with it when they're over here. You can easily shoot them. Now one other quick thing is, even if you're just kind of shooting them and they still build up and they block you off, you can still keep going regular build battle, like keep going up, you can turn around, you know, still just basic things you do in the build battle, like switch places, uh, continue building up, you know, stuff like that. Um, don't think that once you do one of these strategies you can't like build battle and like you can't like keep going and stuff You can keep doing whatever depending on how people are moving and um, How uh, how the guy plays and if he dies or not or like if he's moving correctly or not um, really depends on uh, Like what happens and kind of how the player is so the next thing I like to call is like the crisscross So when people get crisscrossed so pretty much what happens is say you're building up in a build battle all right, and the other person decides, hold on, let me make this real quick, to build up like this too. You're right beside each other and you can realize it. So say you're building up right here and the person builds up like this. Basically what you want to do is you want to keep building up a little bit. Like you can build up two by the time you like not pass this. So you build up two. When you get past this, you build a wall right here. You can either build one right here as well, depending on if you want to do that. And you keep building walls going all the way up. All right, so you're all the way up here with the wall. You need to build that one, and then you're going to do kind of the same thing we did with the blocked up. We're going to build up like this. All right, and they might go up here. If they do that, then you can kind of shoot them from here. If they do, just continue trying to go up because I've I've had build battles where people like they get blocked off here and they can't shoot me, and then they just continue going up and just trying to build like this. And I'm just sitting here ready for them, and then I shoot them in the head with an AK or something. Or sometimes they actually realize I'm going to do that and they turn around and place like this. Um, okay, I kind of messed that up. But they place kind of like this and then they build something like this. And in that case, when they build like this, what you want to do is you want to continue building up but continue building walls. So I make this jump. Okay, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Damn it. Okay. Um, pretty much what you want to do is they realize you're up there you can kind of place a wall right here or you continue building up continue building up past them is kind of a risky move depending on how their aim is but you can kind of make a wall right here you can turn you want to jump place that and then you can place one right here and you can kind of go off to the next side and that's basically what happens when you when you play with a crisscross is that you want to basically kind of like when you when you're reversing somebody who's like with a crisscross you're gonna be in that similar situation the entire time like this guy's standing over here I'm over here we're right beside each other so pretty much you just want to kind of whoever gets the high ground whoever gets like the um, whoever gets like the best place to shoot each other basically wins so pretty much you want to have like the better place to shoot them so say a person's still standing there I can just shoot them from here or 
like you know you can kind of block them off you can kind of jump down um, so basically when you're when you're versing in like a crisscross situation just make sure you have the high ground and you basically can build different areas to kind of trick your opponent to making you think you're one place but you're actually not there now this next thing is actually called boxed when somebody boxes themselves in so say you're having a build battle you know you're building around you're you're, you're doing good you know you're, you're building up and you're okay I kind of messed that up but you're building up and you're having a nice time and everything and then somebody who is building up over here decides hey I'm just gonna I'm gonna basically uh, box myself in because I'm losing this so might as well block myself in now this would be a lot easier if I was actually like <laughs> fighting somebody but it's kinda hard to build this okay uh, it's not working. Okay, I'll just build it right here. So say, for example, somebody boxes themselves in. All right, they're building up like this, and they decided, ah, oh, I'm going to now box myself in, just like so. And now what happens is, since they box themselves in, you're kind of over here, and you're kind of on this side. God, it's so hard to do this when you're like trying to simulate some something else somebody else would do. So say you're like this and they just box themselves in. You're having a build battle, you got the high ground, they box themselves in. Now, this situation, there's two things you can do. Alright? You can either shoot out their mats, which is something I usually do, or sometimes they're actually smart and they leave the back open and they'll kind of run out the back. You can kind of build a little bit higher than them or use your quick build like this. You can shoot from the top or if you know that they have a space out the back you can kind of build to the back and kind of wait there for them basically in a box situation you just want to like be at all angles like just build high and just kind of shoot out the mats and make sure you have areas where you can kind of block yourself off so say for example he's shooting you here you can kind of walk backwards and he won't be able to shoot you you can heal or you can go kind of back to your little uh, area over here you, you can kind of be fine while uh, you heal up you can build a wall right there you can heal up you can go back out as well, um, if you if you need to, and you can kind of shoot him when he's in that box. Because if, if you're put in a box situation, the easy way to do it is to just break below you and pop a coke repeller to get yourself out of there, and you can rebuild battle later on. But yeah, there's a pretty easy way to just beat people who have or in this box situation. All right, now so for this one, which you usually see in build battles, I actually had a build battle of this yesterday. Uh, I was playing and I had a uh, build battle like this as well. So pretty much you're building ramps, you're you're basically just fighting each other like normally and then you go into like a crisscross kind of build battle. So instead of the person actually like build battling like normal, what happens is they use this. They use the quick build that makes you go higher. And now usually what people do is they get the high ground instantly. Now the way to counter this is just tap it many times. That's what I do. I just keep battling the high ground like this. And this is called level. Um, pretty much you just keep going up levels. And whoever gets to the top ends up winning. Now say for example you're at the bottom. Say for example the person's all the way up there. What you can do is you can place a mat above you. And what's going to happen is they're going to be cocky. And they're going to jump down straight on that mat. They're most likely going to break it. If you're sitting here with a pump or... A minigun or any sort of weapon they'll drop down and if they don't have a pump in their hand or something's gonna kill you instantly they're most likely gonna die because you're gonna be right here waiting for them to jump down as soon as they jump down it'll be like your crosshairs will be straight on them and you're gonna end up killing them so basically that's the easy way to counter a, um, a level is just kind of stay actually on the low ground and wait for them if they don't jump down you can always just go out and do the exact same situation here build up again if you have to use one of these again, you can do that, and you can be above them. All right, so for this last one, it is called the sandwich. Now, this usually doesn't really happen, but it's a strategy that in Fortnite, and it's a strategy that, um, oh, I kind of messed this up. Oh, I, I accidentally tapped a quick build. That's that's a rip. Okay, let me reset this. Uh, but pretty much it's a strategy that a lot of Fortnite players use. And pretty much it's something that you don't really have to really worry about in CD, but it's something that it can be pretty useful to use. And it is a pretty slow thing, especially for mobile, because it's kind of hard to um, time it perfectly. But pretty much, uh, I just kind of fell. But pretty much, you basically just kind of like go back and forth. And basically, the only problem with this is that people will kind of realize this, and they'll run across the top, and they'll wait for you to kind of turn around and then they'll kind of be standing there that's why like you always place a mat and then you go up again on a different side 
you can kind of go on the top you can do whatever you need depending on where the person is but yeah so pretty much it's just it's not a very used strategy and it's not a very good one because it's kind of slow I would suggest if you're just trying to go up you just kind of place like this go up like four turn around place a bunch of walls like this go up depending on what you want to do if you want to place like uh, many different ones it depends on whatever you want to use when you're um, going up like this but uh, yeah I just don't really use that strategy going up twice very much because it won't really work that well and it's really slow now one quick thing when you're build battling there are some things you're gonna need okay for one lots of mats as you can see I'm at 40 mats don't start build battling at 40 mats because you'll get up to like four high and then you try to turn around you have no mats and the person will just shoot you and you're too high so the point where you jump down you're gonna die I should have died there but it keeps you at one health in this but yeah so yeah always have more mats also a coke repeller because there's been times where I think I'm building something and either I ran out of mats or it just didn't place and I fell to the floor and I died <laughs> so basically you have a coke repeller so you can pop that so you can kind of like not take fall damage and kind of ride away you can reset the build battle and be like somewhere else and then kind of snipe the person because they may not know where you actually went so if we just stand there like uh, uh, where did I go and then you snipe them alright guys so after showing you a few strategies I'm just gonna basically go ahead and just do like what we usually do in a build battle now I'm not gonna be versing anybody so I'm basically just gonna be building a bunch of stuff any random way thinking of where players are gonna go so yeah let's get started so I built up going around like so building up now it depends I could always build a ramp lay or a like a floor like this and go around depending on where the person ended off at but I usually don't do that I usually kind of go around depending um, on where the person is building because like sometimes they'll just randomly switch directions sometimes people are really good at building ramps like this and then they'll go like 360 around and that's not always fun Sometimes they'll be right at level at you and you can kind of block them off or you can kind of build something like this and then keep going up like so. Um, usually like when I'm in like the pre-game lobbies I will kind of actually like you know do some um, build battling and um, just like just, like kind of fake when, with the 100 mass that they give you. So yeah pretty much that's like what I built in almost like no time and I died. <laughs> but pretty much that's what I built in like no time. I know this video may not be that good because it's kind of hard for me to explain but if you just kind of do what I basically showed and just kind of build battle and kind of block off your players you should be pretty good and just remember don't panic when you're doing a build battle don't just run away and jump off and try to shoot down mats because most of the time that doesn't work um, because most of the time the person realizes you're doing that and they have high ground on you they get a bunch of headshots and that's it anyways guys I hope you all enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and if you want to add me on creative destruction uh, my name is Commodore Pat and I will see you all in the next video bye bye and have a great day